Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got my laser at the ready. Okay, guys, I had to speak about something I was passionate about, and, and it was really hard to decide what, because I'm so passionate about so many different things, like the cosmos and how large it is, and subatomic particles and how cool they are. But I, I finally narrowed it down to infinity. So, <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> so, um, infinity is a really big number, right? So let's see how close we can get. So I took this rather large number, called it A, and uh, it's 365 nines, I wish you could see them all. But this is a huge number. I mean, this is more than the atoms that make up the Earth we're on right now. So I made a bigger number because I'd be closer to infinity, right? So this is B. It's got almost 2,009. So billion is like down here. So as you can imagine, it's a, it's a rather large number. So what can we do to get closer? Well, I don't know. You could square B because B for big number, that last one. You could also, you know, take B to the B power, which is really big. And you could do that again. So B to the B to the B. And I don't know, it's massive. So I put it on this cool um, little timeline thing, if you will. So infinity is extending that way forever. And then you've got 16 and b to the b to the b. And actually, in relation to infinity, they're almost in the same exact spot. Oh, crap, you can't see that. Well, just imagine they're right here, right here, and right here. And infinity is forever that way. So in ratio terms, 16 and b to the b to the b are almost the exact same number. So I failed really big number. So I decided to move to maybe some more small things. So take two and four. You want to see how close you can get to four. So divide that in half. So you got three and four and then 3.7, I mean 3.5 and 3.75. Keep having and having and having and eventually you'll get down to where it's 3.9 with the repeating bar and then you'll have four but you never quite get there because the in interesting thing about that is even if you take an infinite amount of halves there's always that other half. So I found this was strange that Infinity, you can't fit on a line, but you can also fit it between two and four. So this brings up this really of the Mandelbrot set, which I love. Oh, I wish I could talk about this more, but just so you know, there's this equation. Um, you plug in a number, and you'll square it at a constant, then keep running that through and through. And if it never gets bigger than a certain value, then it's going to be black in the Mandelbrot. Really boring. Don't worry about it. But if it does start taking off to infinity, it's going to be colored. And it's going to be colored according to how fast it's taking off to infinity. So I love the aesthetic beauty of, of my Mandelbrot set. And I found a program that lets me zoom in to my heart's content on this beauty. And you'll notice um, some of these things seem to be repeating themselves. And this is a fractal. Uh, these are found all over your Mandelbrot set. Um, so at first, you see a giant swirl that goes on forever. Awesome. But you also notice, if you look closely, uh, you see that this big swirl is made of smaller swirls going around it. And those swirls are made of swirls. And those swirls are made of swirls. And I zoomed into my heart's content one time. Actually, it wasn't to my heart's content because I maxed out my computer's processing abilities. And yet, I found no end to the <laughs> spirals. So I found it was limitless. And, and uh, I don't know. I just wanted to find an end almost. But there is none because it's infinite. In that, in that limited amount of space, there's an infinite amount of spirals and whatever else you're looking at. So this begs the question of how are we going to use this, right? Um, y you can't. But I says probably not, just in case you're wondering. But I found something interesting happened as I was considering this strange uh, in infinite thing, this concept of something so unreal that you can't really grab it. And I found it strange that my finite mind, made of so few neurons, was able to take this, this massively intangible thought and make it almost real and try and teach you guys about it. So I, I was wondering, maybe there's a part of me that's finite that understands this finite world, but maybe there's a part of me that is also infinite and understands that infinite and intangible world. So I, I would believe this would be an eternal kind of self. So imagine what I want to share with you guys is what is it like to be infinite, to be eternal? <laughs> so think of your life as never having a beginning, but to always have been. And think that you'll never have an ending, but you'll always be. So take that limitless potential. And uh, you've kind of become like a Mobius strip, never ending, and a ring, or maybe even 